Very good evening from India's time. I am Rishabh from Yoda Learning Solutions and this short webinar I'll be talking about a feature of Excel called Consolidate something that people see it on the screen but rarely get to find application of Consolidate. That's what you're able to see right now on my screen. Yeah, if you're there in the room just say hi and I'll know who all are there. Hi Dilip. Dilip you'll be able to see the screen in a few seconds. Yeah, let me know once it's there. Anyone else who has a problem in viewing the screen? Upendra, hi. Are you able to see the screen? Yeah, once I get a quick uh, green signal, just doing a quick check from everybody. If you are able to see the screen, just type in yes. So I'll start with the webinar now that the screen is visible to all and the voice is clear hopefully. So here I just repeat which topic I'll be taking up today. I'll be taking up the consolidate technique which is present under data tab of Excel. Now first let me share with you the use case. Imagine your business sells water purifier devices, correct? Now in your team there are five salespersons, Jacob, Martha, Rama, Louis, Jack and they are selling different units of the water purifier basic in these months Jan to June. Now there's one more sheet which provides you details of the sales unit by the same company but different sales member maybe in different months and the model that they're selling is water purifier reverse osmosis model. Now this is a different model. This company produces one more model which is the latest technology and not every salesperson has been trained to sell this product. Hence, you'll notice some names are absent in this third sheet list. Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June. Fine. Now, I need to consolidate all these three sheets into one such that the output looks like this. I'm going to pause for a few moments and I would allow you to see what the output is. So this sheet tells me Jacob has been selling 2200 units. It consists of a sum formula taking values from these three cells. Now question is where does this 750 come from? When I double click on the cell I notice it's a link taken from a different sheet. I double click on the next cell and the same story repeats. All these numbers have been borrowed from the different sheets wherever Jacob is selling something out of these three products in different months. Now, we are already aware of a shortcut key which allows us to see all the formula at one go. Can you guess which one? If you are able to guess now, I know you, are be, you have been following our videos and blogs. The shortcut key is control and backtick key. This will allow me to see all the formulas. Now, coming to the main point. How would I create such a consolidated sheet fast? I do not want you to link this individually to all the different sheets one by one. That's a humongous task. So let me show you how this is done. I go to a blank sheet, pick up any blank cell. Then I go to data. I go to consolidate and I get a small panel window which has a drop down asking me whether I would want to have a sum as an answer. Of course. Now what you see beneath it is an area which is asking me to refer to those sheet areas where this data is present. So how much products are you selling for the basic model? How many units are you selling for the RO model? How many for latest? So what I do is I click on this reference tab. I go to the first sheet which is about basic model and then I be careful to choose the name of the salesperson and the month no more no less. Once having chosen that and ensured I have not taken thing less or more I will add it to the database. This is for one sheet. Then I go to the next sheet which is talking about reverse osmosis models being sold. Now here the selection is wrong. I must be taking the headers also. 
And if you're wondering by now, are the sequence needed, uh, required to be in the same sequence in all sheets? No, my friends. As long as the spellings of these salespersons are correct, they will be automatically drawn to the same person as they should be. However, in this case, I'm going to choose the entire area, just like last time, and click on Add. Finally, I go to Water Purifier Latest Sheet. Notice the selection is taking one row extra. So I'll choose this entire area, revisit the selection, click on Add. Next, once having seen the sources coming from different sheets, I am going to check on some settings which are absolutely relevant. First is, would you want to use the labels in the top row? Well, yes, because the top row indicates the month name. Would you want to in include the labels in the left column? Of course, yes, because left column talks about the salesperson's name. Finally, I would want to ensure to create links to the source data. Once all the three options have been chosen, all I'll do is press OK. Whoa, I got something and I'm curious, what is it this going to be? Let me expand the columns and see what those are. First I see is the list of the salesperson's name. Then I see horizontal list of the month name. And I also see the grouping made on the left hand side. Let me randomly click on any one. Let's say Lewis. Now Lewis, total sales made in January is 750, 600 and 1300. Let me check if that is correct. Lewis, 750. Lewis, 1300 and Lewis 600. Notice all the three numbers matched and I'm going to click on this level 2 to be able to see the details of all. Whoa! It's not been beautified yet but I can see all these cells containing formulas linking them to individual sheets. Now the question is how do I know that which product is being talked about in this line item? Is it water purifier basic or is it reverse osmosis? Well, I can double click on the cell to find out the sheet name, but I want that in a printout. Now, how do I get those sheet names out? Any guesses? Mm, I know some of you are thinking in the lines of text to column. Yes, what I'll do is to be able to get the sheet name, which I would otherwise be copying and pasting it outside one by one, I want this to be automated. So I choose the entire selection of June, let's say, assuming you would have expanded by clicking on either of these two buttons. Then, after having chosen the numbers, go to data tab, then click on text to columns, Fine. You are being asked at what point the data must be cut. I will have to specify that in the next step. In the next step, I notice every sheet name have been preceded and succeeded by a single apostrophe. So I go to other, I put a single apostrophe and I see the sheet name being divided in the second of the three columns, right? I go to next and then I say the destination output should be in the next column that's column K on my screen. So I change the destination to the adjoining cell of the next column. Fine. I'm going to press finish. This is already data there. Do you want to replace it? Of course, yes. Aha. So a sheets link has been broken into three components and taken out in the three columns. Do you need the last column? No. Do you need the first of the three columns? No. What you need is the sheet name which also indicates the product name. Now it's a very very smart and sharp technique to save your time because otherwise would have ended writing these product name. In this super ninja trick, well I also appreciate Dilip's comment. He mentions flash fill. I definitely would want to try flash fill. Let me see if it helps me. I copy this, escape, I paste it and control E. Whoa, that's superb. Thanks Zilip. 
I never imagined, but that's how I learn. I learn from your learnings also. So besides text to column, you can also use flash fill and I can see that happening. If you remember in our previous webinar, we spoke about flash fill. What is the shortcut key for flash fill? Yes, you're right. It's control E, E for elephant. Anyways, we, we also got a quick way to double check our answers. Now it's the time to beautify and finalize our report. So I choose column K, I cut it and I insert the cut cells before January. Now you might ask me, where is this H04 coming from? Well, that's the name of the file, the file of the Excel where my data is stored. Why is this relevant? In case you are consolidating from multiple uh, workbooks, then this will be relevant because then you'll have the names such as 807 or 808. Currently it's not relevant. So I get rid of it. I choose the column D and I press control minus. Superb. Now what I want is to beautify this data sets. So I choose column K values and delete them. Then I click on level one and I want to color only the visible cells. If you do not follow the right trick and you end up coloring the cells, even the cells inside them will get colored. I'm sure you would not want that. So let me show you a trick by which you can catch hold of the visible cells and color them. Now the base trick is if you click on level one, you'll see only the summary totals. Then you press alt and semicolon. Let me write it on the screen so that you can see it very clearly. I choose the selection again. I press alt and semicolon and only visible cells have been chosen. Now let me color them. Let me see whether the inside data has been colored. Not for Jacob, not for Martha, not for either one of these salesperson. Now that's the beauty, ain't it? Finally, to close this up, I would also want if possibly I can show a grand total for all the units. Now, of course, I would not want to do it manually. This plus the next value. No, you won't do that. We are Excel ninjas and we'll use a shortcut key, which I'm going to first write on my screen. That's Alt equal to. And then I'm going to press Alt equal to notice in a single shot. It took up the values of the total individual totals and showed up in a sum grand total. And this is what I'll be copy pasting to the right. And that happens to be my grand total for individual months. Finally, to close this up, if you want to show a trend analysis for all the different months, well, you can show that in a single cell using spark lines. Yes. So I go to insert tab in 2010 version of Excel. You have been introduced to something called spark lines. I'm going to click on spark lines. The first feature line, it asks me where are the values based on which you want to create the spark lines. So I choose Jan to June and I press OK and I drag this down right till the last value and you get a beautiful trend for each line item for each salesperson. And if you want, you can further give a cool design by saying high point and low point, or maybe just high point will do and uh, giving a different color to the marker, maybe by a color of green. So that my friend is the trick of consolidate. So hope you love this trick. And uh, in the next uh, webinar, whenever we meet again, we'll see one of these hidden tricks, which rarely people get to use, but once they start using it, they'll remember it forever. So in this webinar, we learned about consolidate. Yeah. If you have any comments to share with me, any feedback, do share with me till then I'll see you in the next webinar. Dosto, agar aapko hamara video pasand aya, like karna na bhulega, ek button idhar. और एक बटन इधर सब्सक्राइब के लिए क्लिक क्लिक